Hey, what's going on guys? So I have a Samsung Galaxy J7 here, and I'm going to show you how you can screen mirror this onto your HD TV. Now this HD TV, this is a non-smart TV, but we're still going to be able to screen mirror this. Even though the J7, even the J7 2015 or the 2016 version, it does not support Miracast. However, with Chromecast, we are going to be able to screen mirror wirelessly. Now, of course, it's a, it's a Chromecast second generation and a Chromecast first generation. They work. They both work exactly the same, except this one here, the second generation is a little bit faster, and it only costs five or ten dollars more. So if you, if you need to get one of these, I would recommend getting this one because it's a little bit faster, and it's only five or ten dollars more. Okay. So now this example here, I'm only using uh, Chromecast first generation because my second generation is downstairs. Anyways, you just plug this into to your back your HDMI port, which I already did, and then it comes with a USB uh, plug that you need to plug in to give this power. Okay, so I already have it all hooked up. Once you set it, the uh, this dongle here on the back of your HDMI TV, then you go to input or source on your um, on your remote and you go to the correct HDMI. Like mine is obviously HDMI 3 because that's the only one that's highlighted. So this is the home screen for the Chromecast and this is what you need to do now. So once you install Chromecast, you have to download the Chromecast app. It's called Google Home, okay? Tap on that. And then from here, we're going to tap on the three lines up here. And then we're going to go down to right here where it says cast screen slash audio. I'm going to tap on that. I'm just going to click on OK here. And I need to connect to my Chromecast. And this one here, the number's over here. It's 4702, which is this one right here. Like I said, the, I have another Chromecast, second generation is downstairs. Okay, and there you go. I mean, I'm screen mirroring now. And what can you do with this? Well, we can go into our local um, gallery here to look at our photos, videos, even here presentations or PDFs in there. So let's go ahead and do that first. Let me go ahead and go into my gallery here. I'll show you some. Okay, here's a photo here. Some VR goggles here. Uh, let me... Go back here, and I'll show you a video in here as well. Here's a, another photo, Canon DSLR here. And let's go over here, and here is a video. Let me pop on that. Move this down. Okay, so I just I just increased the volume here. Let me let me do that again. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. One, two, three, four. Now, the audio is actually going to come out from my TV, not from my phone, okay? And I can still control the, the vol increase and decrease the volume directly from my phone. Testing. I can decrease the volume here. Just like that. So let's do this. What else can you do with this? Well, of course, I mean, we can go in, you, you want to go into Facebook, you can go into a browser, everything that's going to be on your phone is going to be relayed on here. You can, of course, you can browse like websites, just like that. You can turn it into landscape mode, turn it back into portrait mode here. Uh, you can play games. And, and one thing I do want to note that in order to have Chromecast working, guys, you do need a home Wi-Fi network. If you have no home Wi-Fi network, then you're not going to be able to screen mirror or do anything, okay? So here's a game here. Let me just give you a demonstration of the game here. Let me go ahead and press on play here. And we'll play this game. The thing is, if you have a game that's too graphic intensive, then I wouldn't recommend um, using Chromecast because you are going to see like a little bit of lag. And I'll show you for instance. Of course, I can increase the, decrease the volume here again. It's coming directly, directly from my TV. And, I mean, you can see like a slight lag here between my phone and the TV. So if you're going to be playing games, oh, if you're going to be playing games on here, I would recommend something that is not graphic intensive or there's, there's going to be lag like you can see here. Also, it depends on your Wi-Fi speed, which my Wi-Fi here is actually very, very slow. And let's do this too. And this is very, very important, okay? Now check this out. Now with Chromecast, you, not only can you screen mirror your J7 or pretty much any other Android phone, but you can also cast, okay? And I'm gonna tell you the difference between the, 
between the both. So make sure you watch watch this because this is very, very important. First, let's go ahead and screen mirror YouTube, okay? So here is YouTube and I'm screen mirroring it because everything that is on my phone is gonna be on my TV exactly the same, okay? So I'm gonna play this video here. And then let's go ahead and skip this ad. Let me turn this into landscape mode. Okay, so right now I'm screen mirroring. Now what happens if I, everything that's on my phone is gonna be on my TV. So if I put my phone to sleep right now, boom, my TV goes to sleep as well. However, with Chromecast, there's thousands of apps which you can cast. So if you can cast it, cast it instead of screen mirroring. So let me give you an example here. If you look on my phone right here, you can see the casting icon for YouTube. And this, you have, you, you know, you have the casting icon on Hulu, YouTube, Netflix, thousands of other apps. I'll put a link below of all the apps that are um, castable through Chromecast in the description below. But here's the casting icon here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on this casting icon. Then I'm gonna connect onto my Chromecast, the 4702 Chromecast. And now I'm not screen mirroring, I'm just streaming it, I'm casting it, okay? And let me show you, if you can cast it, then you're better off casting it opposed to screen mirroring it, okay? So if you get the Chromecast, you don't need to screen mirror YouTube or Netflix or Hulu, you cast it, it's better. Because first of all, you don't have to have your phone on while it's uh, playing, in, playing, okay? Because let me lower the volume down. All right, let me just lower the volume down here. Okay, so now look, if I put my phone to sleep, it's still playing in the background. Also, while it's casting, because you don't need to have your screen on, you're saving battery juice. You don't have to constantly leave your screen on where it's basically gonna kill your battery. Another great thing is from here, while this is playing in the background, you can do other things on your phone. You can go to other apps, you can make phone calls, you can send text messages. So casting is essentially, it's better than screen mirroring if you can cast it, okay? If, you, if you're gonna be showing like local videos and um, pictures, presentations that sort of locally, then you have no choice. You have to screen mirror because you cannot cast it. And also, you know, there's a lot of games and stuff like that. You're not gonna be able to cast it. You would have to screen mirror that as well. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything, just comment below. And if you guys subscribe, share, like, that'd be great. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Bye.